Hello, my name is Kai Bartel from Pixolution and I'd like to show you some techniques that we've developed. The first thing I'm going to show you is our visual sorting techniques. So instead of searching through many pages like an content management system like this one, we can actually load all images at once, up to 1000 images, and then these images will actually be visually arranged in such a way that we can easily see where the images of interest are. So we can easily see the night shots or all the models in which I'm interested for in this case. So I can just pick them here and add them to my light box in this case. The next thing I'm going to show you is our visual similarity search. So we go to the shot shop page and we've, I've been searching for woman images. If I want to find images like that, I can just find others that have the same tag and look similarly. I'll show you another example of this woman standing on the beach and again our system will find other images that look like that. As a last example, I will show you some black and white shots of this woman and again we will be able to find images like that. We can also do a color search not only by one color like a lot of systems can do it but for several, by several colors and this means now I'm actually looking for images containing red, white and black and I could also add some green to it. We have actually combined all these techniques in our image search system which is called Pixelu and if I search for tomato like in this case you can see that we can load quite a lot, large number of images to search with them in, in, in them and if I load more images I still haven't any problem looking at them and, and actually can find some template images which are similar to my search. So if I would be interested in looking for tomato images with some green leaves around this could be a good guess and I could also pick some other ones that are similar to that. And by selecting the images actually two things do happen. We can look for other images that look alike but in, a, in the same way we can actually remember that these images have been selected together and now we can build up kind of a semantic network which I'm going to show you here. So this means if I have this image just that have been selected together and I connect them by, the, by links this will give me something like this and if I look a little bit further not only at the neighbors but again at the, of the neighbor, to the neighbors of the neighbors this means I will actually get a whole network of connected images which can be used for two things. I can do a very good search because now I can get images that need not to look similar and they also don't need to have the same keyword but I could still find them and the other very important thing on which we are just working for the moment is we can soon th travel through our image databases and in a visual way and then just look which images are connected and actually serve our images as we do it with our normal web pages today. If you'd like to try this, please come to our web page.